Sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? That depends on who's asking. My intentions are peaceful, and I'll take that as a yes. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I am unable to find much information about Thane Krios. He is understandably difficult to locate. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. I... well, I guess it's not like I attack those colonies. I'm just watching trends. Whatever you say, pardon me. Sell. Sell at 40. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. I'll take it. The people here are asked to sacrifice their own convictions and beliefs in exchange for a soulless corporate identity. I understand that kind of life would be attractive to some people, but not to me. No 
the data is vital to the Corosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pass. Serena? Who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Lyra Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go, then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> too long they'll be here to greet you soon enough good luck Shepard Thank <laughs> you. 
Allied force casualty. All hostile forces have to fall. I think we got them all! He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Just be glad you're still breathing. What happened? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Someone's here to kill Nasana. I need to find him. I haven't seen anyone. <laughs> but that explains. The mechs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. I can't breathe. Please help me. My chest is. Come on. He can't help us anymore. Find the others. <coughs> There's more of us. Please? Shepard, we can't just leave him here. It's not right. We can and we will. Move up. Switch up! Yeah! 
moment. Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? I'm looking for someone, and you're not him. But is it safe to come out? Seen anyone suspicious who isn't a merc? Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a... Hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. If you don't like the work, just leave. Easier said than done. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Cause she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! On it! Moving to cover! We're a little exposed out here. Especially if anyone's in that elevator. Perhaps we should find some cover. Enemy, have a pleasant day. Coming in close. Got 
spotted. They're all yours, Mika. Let's see if they burn! Keep them to die! Go get them, Mika. Good girl. Headed your way. You got it. Coven coming at us. Nice work. Slow. Damn it. Tell me where the assassin is, and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You've got two ways down. Express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team... How about goodbye? Harsh. But I guess he had it coming. That's the last of them. You guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. Hurt me? I hardly felt a thing. Tell him! Slow and easy. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? I've shot a lot of mercs today, but I can't take credit for him. Then who did? You tell me. What happened? The merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Telen picked up the merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? 
From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Should we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Miss Anna. Damn it! Pop that throne away! Got it! They've seen us. I don't care what you do. No one gets across that bridge. Eat this. Take a cover. What the hell are you waiting for? Just kill them. 
I'll take them. What the hell am I paying you for? You got it. That's not my deal. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Asana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You. Stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I just tore this place apart looking for you. The least you can do is look at me. Prayers for the wicked must never be forsaken. Asana and her men deserve what they got. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. 
I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission? Huh. Yes. A suicide mission will do nicely. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They're innocent, yes? Like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Keep it civil, people. We've all got the same goal. Maintain the objective. Aye, aye, sir. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. Jacob, we need him, but that doesn't mean I trust him. Let me know if he turns into a problem. Aye, aye, Commander. surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. You'll have to keep an eye on that one. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
I've got an appointment with Shahira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... You won't understand unless you meet her. Edie, we've got venting from the number 16 lithium heatsink. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. Well, I always liked Tali, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. something. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with them on Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider. The ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. 
The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still drop breath by the time it bears fruit. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. You don't act like a dying man. You have the advantage there, Shepard. You've already died. Perhaps later you can give me some suggestions. I can do nothing to alter my fate. One advantage of my training is that I've always, to some degree, considered myself dead. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. I was just thinking about you. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. The commander's put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. So the Collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Chamber said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. <laughs> See, why do that? What's wrong? I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. I've got no pass to leave me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. I want you in the infirmary. I can't have some Krogan disease running rampant. Your doctors only see victims of Krogan. My kind do not share with aliens. Not after the genophage. We won't find someone who's seen this. A Krogan my age would still be on the homeworld, Tuchanka. I'll keep this on file, but I doubt we can divert to the Krogan homeworld anytime soon. Understood. I'll, I'll keep busy, but I feel dangerous. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new Quarian boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. Huh. Shepard, 
I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In the shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence, and with all the crap sloshing around, he thought he'd been shot in the head. Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor now. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard.